When I come to a place like Hidden Valley here, you're really struck by the role that humans play in this world. And while we play a substantial role, we are also a piece of a greater whole. Las Vegas has expanded dramatically over the past 30 years. That growth does continue, and we've really come to a crossroads. Las Vegas has the 13th worst air in the country, uh, according to the American Lung Association. You can see it right out here today, that thick layer of smog hanging over the central part of the valley. Clark County has a proposal on the table right now to dramatically expand the urban footprint of, of Clark County, mostly south of the city, uh, along I-15 toward California. And that is gonna increase our air pollution. It is prime desert tortoise habitat. It is home to rare and imperiled plants, wildflowers in particular. It's just some beautiful wild country right outside our back door in Las Vegas. The desert tortoise is in critical decline. If the tortoise goes, I think that's really an indication that we're experiencing a crisis in that desert ecosystem. Biodiversity is intrinsic to life on Earth. Biodiversity is what gives us clean air to breathe and clean water to drink. Biodiversity is what gives us food. Without biodiversity, uh, we really put ourselves at jeopardy. You know, we're in the middle of what is called the sixth great extinction crisis. We are losing species at an alarming rate a recent UN biodiversity report found that up to one million species are at imminent risk of extinction. We need to address this extinction crisis, and one of the chief drivers of that crisis is the loss of habitat. And if this whole valley turns into shopping malls and subdivisions, uh, we, have, we have cut into the habitat of the desert tortoise and we're accelerating the extinction crisis. But I think we have an opportunity here. You know, Las Vegas is at a crossroads and the decisions we make right now are gonna affect future generations. I think the most important thing is that our elected officials hear from us about what our vision is for the future of Southern Nevada. That means our county commissioners, that means our senators, that means our Congress people. They need to hear if people have opinions about growth and sprawl, air pollution and climate, and why that's important to you.